What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and welcome to lesson 26 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about the while and do while loops. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 26. So in the previous lesson, we learned all about the most common type of loop, which was the for loop. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the while and do while loops. Let's start with the while loop. So a while loop will repeat a block of code whilst the given condition remains true. So let's see how to create a while loop and then we'll take a look at what it all means. Okay, so to create a while loop then, we first need an initializer. So just like the for loop which we looked at previously, the while loop also contains those three elements, an initializer, a condition, and finally a final expression. So first then, let's go ahead and create our initializer. So I'm gonna say let i be assigned the value of zero. And now we're going to create the while loop structure. So we're going to say while space parentheses, and then curly braces. So once again, just like with the for loop, this follows the same basic structure. We have a keyword, in this case, it's the word while, then we have parentheses, and then we have curly braces. Now, the next thing we need to include is the condition, and that goes in the parentheses. So in here, I'm just gonna say, and we'll come back in and fill this in. Okay, next we have our code block. So here, I'm just gonna console.log i, which is our variable. And then finally, again, inside the code block, we need our final expression. So I'm gonna say i plus plus. So we're gonna increment the value of i. Okay, let's go ahead and include a condition. So let's get rid of this, and instead, let's say, Let's check to see if i is less than or equal to 10. Finally, let's go ahead and save and let's see what we get. Okay, so the console then outputs the numbers zero to 10. So let's understand how this all works. So once again, notice that the components we used in our for loop are also present here. This is our initializer. This is our condition. This is our final expression. And then of course we need something to actually run. This is our code block. So the while loop works in a similar way to the for loop in that it loops over a block of code. The difference here though is the initializer variable is written before and outside of the while loop syntax and the final expression is actually included inside the curly braces. So only the condition is placed inside the parentheses. So what's happening here then is we have our initializer, which is zero. We then check to see if zero is less than or equal to 10. That's true. Since it's true, our console logs i, which is zero. And then finally we have i plus plus. So now the value of i is one. We then loop back and check the condition again. So is one less than or equal to 10? Once again, that's true. And so we console.log i, i is one. And so we get one printed in the console. This continues all the way down to 10. Now, the reason why we don't have 11 printed in the console is because after we've printed 10, and then we say 10 plus plus, which is 11, when we check 11, is 11 less than or equal to 10? Well, no, that's false. And so since it's false, our code block does not run and our while loop ends. Let's take a look at another example. So let's get rid of this. And this time I'm going to create an array of colors. So I'm going to say const colors is equal to our array. And let's just paste these colors in. Okay, so we've got red, blue, green, orange, and purple. And what we want to do here is we want to log these values to the console. And of course, we're going to do that using a while loop. So first then, let's go ahead and declare our initializer. So I'm going to say let color be assigned the value of zero. Then we're going to create our while loop syntax. So we're going to say while space parentheses curly braces. So the condition here is going to be while color is less than colors dot length. Remember colors dot length is a reference to our array. And so we're checking to see the length of our array here. And in this case, it will be five, okay? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five values. And then inside the curly braces, let's do the code to be run. So we're just going to say console.log. And then inside here, we're going to say template literals because we want to pull in our variable. So we're going to say dollar sign, curly braces. We're going to choose our array, which is colors. And then in brackets, we need an index for our array. So here, of course, we're going to say our variable of color. So at this stage, don't worry too much if you're not too sure how arrays work exactly. We will be covering them literally in the next few lessons. But basically, the way that we access values in an array is we first use the array name. So in this case, we're saying colors. Then we say square brackets. And then inside that, we provide an index number. Now, arrays are zero indexed. And that basically means the first value has an index value of zero. The second has an index value of one, two, three, and four. So for example, if we wanted to access the color green, we would say colors square brackets, and then the number 
2, 0, 1 and 2. Of course here we're not hard coding a number in because we want to loop through the different index numbers and we've set this to start at 0. So on the first loop through here, this will be selecting red because color is equal to 0. And then of course we're going to be incrementing that number. Let's just go ahead and do that now with our final expression. So here I'm going to say color plus plus. Okay, so let's go ahead and save and let's see what we get in the console. Perfect, so now we've looped through our array values, red, blue, green, orange and purple using this while loop. Okay, so that's the basic usage of the while loop. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the do while loop. So let's get rid of this. And now for the do while loop, this works in pretty much the same way as a while loop. But the only difference is we use a do while loop when we want to ensure that the code is executed at least once before the condition is tested. So even if the condition is false, by default with a do while loop, our code block will run at least once. First of all then, yep, you've guessed it, we need our initializer. So I'm going to say let i be assigned the value of 0. And now to create our do while loop, first we create a do block. So we're going to say do space curly braces. Inside the curly braces, the first thing we have is the code to be run. So I'm going to say console.log. The number is i. So no matter what happens, whether the condition is true or false, our code block will always run at least once. So next we have the final expression. Notice that we still haven't even come on to the condition yet. So here we're going to say i++ plus plus, just as normal. And the condition is actually placed outside of our curly braces by saying space while and then in parentheses, we have our condition. So here I'm going to say, while i is less than or equal to 10. So let's go ahead and save and let's see what we get in the console. Okay, so we get the number is zero all the way down to the number is 10. So here then we've used a do while loop to loop through the numbers zero to 10. Let's understand what's happening here. So with the do while loop, first then we have a do block. Well, actually first we have our initializer up here. Okay, again, this is written outside of our do while loop syntax. Then we have this do block, and inside that we have the code to be run first, and then we have the final expression. And so once again, regardless of whether this condition is true or false, since our JavaScript is being executed line by line, it's gonna come across line four first before it even hits line number six. So the do block will run this code regardless of whether this condition is true or false. After the code to be run, still inside our do block, we have our final expression, and then outside of that, we have while, and then in parentheses, the condition. So in other words, do this, while this is true. So that's how to write and use the while and do while loops. Now, the next obvious question might be, well, now that we've learned about the for loop, the while loop and the do while loop, when should we actually favor one over the other? For example, when should we choose to use a for loop as opposed to a while loop or a do while loop? Well, first of all, let me say this. Remember that there are still two more loops to look at, for in and for of, we'll be covering those in the next two lessons. But when it comes to these, the for loop, the while loop, and the do while loop, there is a general rule of thumb that we should follow as to which loop we should be using and when. So we should use a for loop when we know ahead of time the number of loops or iterations that we require. And we use a while or do while loop when the number of iterations is not known ahead of time. For example, if we're iterating over an array, we know the amount of values inside the array, for example, by using the dot length property. And so since we know the number of iterations we need, we should use a for loop. Or let's say we're building a JavaScript game and we need to run a piece of code exactly three times, no more and no less. Again here, we know the amount of iterations that we need and so we use a for loop. Now for a while loop, it could be something like we need to loop a piece of code based upon the user's input. Now we don't know the number of iterations needed ahead of time, it all depends upon what the user inputs and so here we would use a while loop. And of course, the difference between a while loop and a do while loop is with a do while loop, the code is run at least once before coming on to testing the condition. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Let's go ahead and summarize what we've learned. So the while loop then will repeat a block of code whilst the given condition remains true. The do while will run the code at least once before coming on to evaluating the condition. Just like the for loop, the while and do while loops require an initializer, a condition and a final expression. All these are required to actually generate an iteration or loop. And finally, we should use a for loop when we know the number of iterations we need ahead of time and use a while loop when we don't. Okay, so let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. So you've got two tasks for this lesson then. For task number one, I want you to use a while loop to write out the following sentence in the console. The speed of the car is x mph, where x is the number of miles per hour. Start at zero and go all the way up to 100 in increments of 10. Okay, 
And then for task two, I want you to create two variables, A, which has the value of one, B, which has the value of 10, and then use the right loop to print out the numbers one to 10, making sure to execute the code at least once before testing the condition. So as always, pause the video, try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so for the first task then, we're going to create our initializer first. So we're gonna say let mph be assigned the value of zero. And then we're going to create our while loop. So we're gonna say while, parentheses, curly braces. And for the condition, we're gonna say, whilst mph is less than or equal to 100. And then for the code block, we're gonna say console.log in template literals. We're gonna say the speed of the car is, and then we're gonna pull our variable in. So we're gonna say mph, and then outside of our curly braces here, we're gonna say mph. So this is going to be our number, and then this is going to be miles per hour. Now what we need to do is we need to increment this in stages of 10. So down here, we're going to say, take mph and do plus equals 10. Okay, so in the console then, we've got the speed of the car is zero miles per hour, all the way down to 100 miles per hour in increments of 10. So that's task one. For task number two, first we need to create two variables. So we're gonna say let a, be assigned the value of one and let b be assigned the value of 10. And here we need to make sure that we execute the code at least once before testing the condition. So of course what we're looking for here is a do while loop. So we're gonna say do, create our do block. And inside here, we're gonna say console.log a, and we wanna log the numbers one to 10. So we're gonna say a plus plus, we increment a by one while and for the condition here, what we're looking for is while a is less than or equal to 10. And of course our variable b has a value of 10. So here we're going to say the condition is going to be a less than or equal to b. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Perfect, so once again, we have the numbers one to 10 logged in the console. So guys, well done on completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. In the next couple of lessons, we're going to learn all about two advanced iteration techniques called the for in loop and the for of loop. So be sure to tune in, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you on the next one.